hunger. There's nothing better. How hungry are you? How much do you really want it? Be proud of your hunger. Do not suppress your ambition. It is a good thing. Build the biggest thing you can build. Do not tear down other people's projects, but do not be embarrassed of wanting to build the biggest project of them all. In that, and if you can accomplish it, you will bring so much joy and happiness. You will create a blueprint for others. You will help so many people. Do not suppress your hunger. Do not allow anybody to tell you it is wrong. Do not tell or let, excuse me, anybody tell you that you're dreaming too big, too high. Have practicality in it. Deploy patience in it. Understand the audacity of it. Do not be exposed for the lack of knowledge of the complexity of it, the grandness of it, and what you're asking for. Do not look delusional. Understand it. Learn it. Nurture it. Respect it. And understand that if you understand that if you are one of the lucky few that was given enormous ambition and hunger, it is a power that can drive you all the way through, but please reconcile that and understand how to corral it with kindness. Kindness is the great equalizer to ambition that allows it to become palpable and will create for people to cheer for you along the way, not, not enjoy your downfalls, your micro downfalls, which you will have. But please, my friends, understand that ambition will get you there. It is the fuel of success. And when mixed with empathy and the respect of merit and kindness, and when you can respect your ambition more than your own short-term wants and needs, you can enable it to take you so far. I laugh. I laugh at the outside judgment of my success. And I mean in both directions. I thank, I thank so many of you that think it's there. But I laugh because I know how much greater it will be because I understand what my parents and my circumstance did for me. Take very little, take very little in understanding. I was, I did not manipulate my ambition. I did not create my kindness. I'm just a product of. But for those of you that are watching me, who watch me, who stumbled on the virality of this video, you know, protect your ambition. It is absolutely, fundamentally one of your secret sauces, but please do not let ambition cloak and trick you into thinking you can do the wrong things. Your ambition does not need to be fulfilled at the expense of others. In fact, when harnessed properly, your ambition should inspire and help so many. Please think about your legacy in your teens and your 20s and your 30s and your 40s. And please, if you are in your 50s and 60s, understand the circumstances of technology have created a format for you to exploit and enjoy that it is not too late for you to rekindle your diminishing ambition that has been quailed by the practicalities of your life, that your phone and the distributions of the modern day platforms like YouTube and Instagram and LinkedIn and podcasting create an opportunity for the next three decades of your life to harness your dwindling ambition and take it to the next level, to the starting points. Some of your ambitions are in life support and modern technology that you demonize for its shortcomings are actually the anecdote and the potion to create the happiness that you can achieve. And some of you are struggling with your ambition and your ambition gets the best of you and your insecurities mixed with your ambition are allowing you to treat others poorly and allowing you to spend money and create circumstance for you to fake, paint a fake picture on social networks 
of how much success you have. And I promise you that history and the smart few understand it and feel bad for you, but are cheering for you. Legacy and the human race and the winners that see so clearly today are rooting for you and hoping that you come across a song, a poem, a video, a movie, a piece of communication that gives you the strength to create a framework and a blueprint and a guiding North Star of who you want to be and who you want to be remembered for. I cheer for you both, the opposite sides of the spectrum, the youth and the people that have been tricked into thinking they're old. I'm talking to all you 40 to 90 year olds and shit, some of you 28 year olds. Please, please harness your ambition and mold it into the incredible thing that it can be driving force to the happiness of your life.